me doof. Carlos Anders Carlson is a tremendous technician in the sport of arm wrestling and a man that fans of the Super Series will know very well, Carlos is about to go to work. The man in the stripes is former British heavyweight number one, Richard the Hitman Poole. Now senior referee with the Arm War Super Series, David Goof in the black. And Anders Carlson, Carlos from Sweden in the red. To France, the centre. Very, very interesting match. Carlos with the uh, size advantage in this match. He's the natural middleweight. Duf hovers between welterweight, lightweight and middle and that uh, size advantage has been made to count there from Anders Carlsen. The Swede gains hand control, uses the side pressure and David Duf there resigned to the fact that I think he was caught napping a little bit but I would not count out the Frenchman. He will definitely look to try and avenge yeah. that early loss yeah, I need to with be quickery old, old and trickery. Energy. Duf. That worked. High pressure, high. Gregory Schneider working in the corner of the Frenchman, trying to uh, massage some blood out of that arm. Yeah. We're at the Trafford Centre in Manchester. On the main stage in the Orient Leisure Dome, tremendous facility here. The biggest retail outlet in Europe. As leisure facilities that are unmatched. And some of the... Uh, Action that we've seen this weekend has been entertaining the crowds here. Anders Carlson has been right in the thick of that, as usual, showing his technical prowess. He faces another technician in David Duff here. Duff, very, very fast, the leaner man of the two. He's pushing in. Ready, go. But Carlson, oh, Duff there, what a response from David Duff. I can tell you what, Duff had great hand control there. Carlson, extremely lucky that he got the elbow foul because he was buried in the centre of the table and that would have been a win to David Duve, the nothing. Frenchman. Unfortunate lot to be uh, level pegging at this point. But it's just a warning sign for Anders Carlson that he can't underestimate this this young athlete. There's the hand control from Duve. Can he? Oh, he couldn't hold off the side pressure. Anders Carlson had lost hand control, but he knows that he's got to finish there. Watch this second hit. Holds on there, keeping the pressure on the knuckle. There's the drive, and it's the win for Anders Carlsen. And uh, talk about by the skin of your teeth, and I think he knows it. It was written all over his face. Down a bit because his thumb is getting, uh, disappears in my hands. So I have to grip down and go more back pressure, I think. Because uh, I have to lean backwards all the time because my hand takes over this thumb. Yeah, so if you're higher and you use some back, yeah. some back pressure. It seems like he doesn't have that much back pressure. Yeah. I need to have the, the height. Can you, right. can you give high and give a lot of back and then side? I think we were fine. Yeah. Advice from Pascal Girard, world yeah, number two from Switzerland. In the corner of Carlson. This, this hand is too small. You know, it disappears in my hand, so I have to go down all the time to show his knuckle. Yeah. Can you give roll? Yeah, a little, a little bit lower. A little bit lower, but still with a lot of back pressure, I think. David Duff, the Frenchman, a very cerebral athlete himself, and I'm sure that Gregory Schneider had a lot of tips and advice to give him in the corner of the French. Pascal Girard with his long flowing locks there, working in the corner of Anders Carlsen. He couldn't get a better technician and a better advisor. Carlsen known for his uh, techniques, Anders, but uh, Pascal Girard is a master arm wrestler. And a Swiss legend, but a massive hit here from David Duke. Oh, off the back of the pad, surely with the elbow. And off the front from Carlson. 
Yes, it's a coincidental foul. Both athletes coming off the pad, so therefore the fouls are cancelled out, and it'll be a restart. Duke with a huge hit, panicked a little bit, and watch on this second hit there. You'll see the elbow just pop. There it is, off the back of the pad, and he... Uh, Pulls Anders Carlsen off the front of the pad in doing so. Coincidental foul means no foul. Cancelled out and we will get a restart. But uh, David Duf again showing that speed. Be careful both of you on the elbows, OK? Shoulders. Warning from Richard Poole. To keep the elbows down, keep them on the pads. A little bit of panic setting in, I think, for Shoulder. the lighter man, David Duf. Don't climb. Don't climb. The most frustrating thing for Duf will be he's really Bring sold up. his cards there, but there's a huge hit again, and he momentarily had hand control. But Carlson far too smart to wait for uh, him to set anything effectively. Bales gets into the strap where he thinks he can make that power advantage that he has work more effectively. Duf looking a little concerned, looking to the crowd continuously, looking uh, to the second row of the crowd where his teammate and coach Gregory Schneider, the heavyweight what? and overall champion of France, is sat. Gregory, an exceptional oh. athlete okay. and a man who coaches the uh, the French guys in the Super Series, of which David Duff is one. And uh, Anders Carlsen, the man in the red T-shirt, is uh, a man who's actually faced Gregory yeah. Schneider in competition, no, 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 no. in open competition, overall class. So uh, Gregory has a little bit of insight well, into the this techniques of the Swede. He may have it. imported that knowledge into the mind of David Duf. Yeah. Duf with the high hand. Ready, There's a Ready, big hit, but he runs straight into a brick wall. Carlson using the strap so effectively. And that's the difference when the strap goes on and the Swede just countering that. And not, watch the replay, bounces off him. Boom, there's the hit. Stopped by the strap, straight to the pad. The slingshot technique from Anders Carlsen, fed forward with the lower palm. And there's the man I was just talking about, Gregory Schneider. Oh. He's giving the advice to David Duf, telling him to make sure he get, gets uh, wrist and hand control. He does need to be very, very fast away, David Duf, in order to uh, counter the power advantage. Anders Carlsen has the Swede making it count throughout this match. Anders seems to be uh, setting his shoulders in a seesaw format. Looks like he's going for that reversing top roll. But the high hand of Duf will make that a dangerous move. I'm Duf in hand control. Oh, it's an elbow foul from Carlsen. And that's the second time we've seen him do that in this match. And he's, again, very, very fortunate to get away with that. Because David Duf was in total hand control and would definitely have finished that match. He was already stuffing it down to the pad when uh, Richard Poole called the foul on Carlson. And I do not expect to see Anders go for the same soup warmed over. I'm sure he'll try something a little different. Although he has carved backwards again, looks like he is actually going to try and top roll. Ready go! And he did, but this time with a lot less finger pressure, we slip and we will go into the straps. And Duf is uh, time to smile there because he is probably uh, quite amused by that fact. He knew it was coming, and you saw on the replay Duf open his hand to catch Carlson. The strap will be applied, and nobody's getting away now. But that's uh, the pendulum swings massively in favour of Carlson again when that strap goes on because he's the man with the power advantage and the strap will allow him to channel that strength much more effectively. Carlson really uh, able yeah. to make it count in the strap the last time it went on and I'm sure we'll, he'll look for more of the same. The strap will allow him to apply the pressure far harder, far more sideways and when his body moves the arm of Duf will move if he is the stronger of the two athletes, which he certainly seems to be. The trickery and the speed of Duf are his primary weapons, and the strap helps Carlson to neutralise them. He leans the body weight back into the strap now. That body weight advantage will take the pace off the Frenchman. 
I'm not, not loading. You can see the effect of the load there because David Duve lifting his own elbow in the air. Massive hit from Duve, but Carlson is where he wants to be. He's in the hook. There's the second hit. And Anders Carlson seals the deal in the strap. He was uh, able to set the hook quite early in that match. And from there, bang, there's the big hit from Duve. He sets the hook, Carlson, now. And from there, it's just a case of resting, setting his body, engaging the lats. Here comes the second hit. There it is. And it's a win for Sweden again. And Anders Carlson is in a commanding position in this match. And he'll be a lot more relaxed from here on in because he's dealt with the primary weapons of uh, Duf very, very well throughout. Apart from losing his hand on occasion, he's always been the man who looks like winning the match with that strength advantage. And uh, David Duf is a dangerous opponent. He, if, yeah, I'm just trying for a speed hit. If he takes me, he takes me. No, no, no. No. Yes. Yes. Advice again from uh, Pascal Girard, telling him that... I'll just go for a speed hit, and if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. I don't care. In a multiple I series match, he must stay fresh for the next match. Well, he's Thanks again. a long way through this match right now. And uh, Anders Carlsen is in absolute control. Ready to go! He went for a massive hit there. We slip. And we will go into the strap. Apparently we won't. I expected to see the strap there, but uh, it's neutral position. And Richard Poole opts not to use the strap. Fair enough. I'm not going to argue with the man in the stripes. He's controlling the table. Where do you go? There's the hit from Carlson, but it's an awful one. And David Duf has wised up, and he uses the speed advantage. Big hit from Carlson. He was seen in the corner. I'm going for the speed hit. He did. Bang. Duf, winner. David Duf able to control the hand of Anders Carlsen and he takes that pin and David Duf gets his first points on the board in this match. It's 4-1. As we go into this last pin and Anders Carlsen sticking with the Ready speed, up. probably a bad move. Oh, that's what you call speed. Look at the hit from Duf. The Frenchman is like grease lightning, hammers that to the pad and it's... Uh, a little bit late in the day.